can beg to differ yeah, yeah, yeah. guys welcome back to another vlog so today is going to be a few days in my life kind of prepping and getting ready for a little trip I'm actually heading up to my parents house for a few days just because like I have some appointments and then that's also where I've always gotten my nails done and stuff so excited to get some nails back on these bad boys I literally feel like I get my personality back when I get my nails done but yeah that's kind of the situation is we're just gonna do a little prep for a little vacation um in a few days in my life but before we get into that i actually just got a giant package from my mom made it um so let's do a little haul i want to show you guys all the pieces that i got because i'm literally obsessed and i definitely will be bringing some of these pieces with me on my trip like they are so cute so let me show you guys i just wanted to give you guys an overview of like all the pieces but literally when i opened up the package the quality of everything like I am honestly so impressed like I don't think I've ever felt a jacket like this nice quality or like a loungewear set like it's just so thick and comfortable like I'm not even joking you guys and then the puffer I feel like you guys have definitely seen these puffer heels and like the puffer tote that matches because they have been everywhere and let's do a little try on of everything because like I already said like I'm obsessed I feel like you can tell just from the way when I start talking about pieces like if I love them like I will not stop talking about them and I think everything here is just so so cute so all my pieces that I got I got in either a small or an extra small slash small so starting off with this stunning little halter dress I'm literally obsessed this will definitely be coming with me on my trip so I feel like I didn't mention but I'm actually going to Arizona and I feel like this is literally perfect this is definitely going to be like the dress of the summer for me I love halter neck things on me I feel like they suit me really well and then all of the little like detailing that they have as well with their pieces I'm just in love with like this little pocket here so cute so this is the first piece Okay, then I also got this stunning little pastel yellow utility jacket. Definitely going to be a go-to piece for the fall and early winter, just because like it's so big and cozy. Not sure how I'm gonna style it yet, but I love all the detailing, all of the like giant pockets, and I love too, like this whole bottom part can zip off. So let me zip it off and show you guys what it looks like without the little bottom section on. So I just zipped off the little bottom section and then it's more of a like cropped jacket. I actually really like it with this dress. I feel like because blue and yellow are complementary colors, well blue and orange are complementary, but navy and yellow is kind of a vibe. I feel like if I had a little pair of like baby yellow heels or white heels, like this is actually really cute. I'm not gonna lie. Both sleeves also have this like a buckle detailing. There's just so much detail and effort in these pieces. I'm I'm honestly amazed and just love literally all the details that are put into these pieces. I feel like they make them really unique and they just they add a little like a juge to your style, you know? They add something to the outfit. Next, I got this little white matching corduroy set. I am so in love. Like I feel like it's the perfect combination of girly but streetwear for me. And I feel like my mom made it in general is like the perfect combo of girly and streetwear and it's like I just love it but again I love all the little detailing all of the like giant pockets and like little places to put things I feel like one of their big detailing is like these giant pockets that you can always put things in which is great because it means I can carry a little bag and just stuff random things in the pockets that I'm actually wearing on my person but so cute like I feel like this skirt too is like Oh, I just I think it's so cute 
there just to give you guys a little bit more of a closer up of the corduroy material. I love too that these pieces can be styled separately but then like as a set are just so cute as well. This set too styled with the little puffer tote and puffer heels is too cute. Like brown and white is like the perfect combo because I feel like white is very spring but brown is very me so this just goes. Last up, we have this little navy matching bike shorts and top set. Literally, this is going to be my go-to summer, like, running errands around the house. Just, like, super casual. You want to look put together, but, like, cute, activewear, athleisure vibes. I love it. Honestly, too, the material is super thick and, like, really holds you in, but is super comfortable. So I am in love. I love, again, they have their little labeling. So these are the last pieces that I got. So again, a big thank you to my mom made it for sending over these pieces and for partnering with me on today's video. I will have links to all of the pieces down below. Be sure to go check out my mom made it. I think you can tell how obsessed I am with their stuff. Like I'm just so impressed by the quality, how chic and minimal, but like street style their pieces are. So so a big thank you to my mom made it and I'm gonna finish packing up my overnight bag for my parents house and then get ready to head out all right so we are heading home now but I thought I'd give you guys a little full outfit of the day situation because I don't know if anybody else feels this if you grew up in a small town and your parents just live in like a smaller rural area but I definitely like small town vibes my city outfits if you know what I mean like we just we casual them down and we country them up just just a little bit I feel like my style is definitely more muted when I go home or it's just like really simple really plain I tried to still kind of like fit my vibes I feel like I'm very much emulating Gargana Ivanova vibes today literally love her style so much but this is the look brown we're very much neutrals and then Birkenstocks in the spring is literally my lovers and like I match the purse to the Birkenstocks to kind of like throw that in there so this is the vibe for today I feel like it's very neutral minimal you know but my mom is here now to pick me up so let's head out We are heading out to go see Fantastic Beasts tonight. The last one, the last one that just came out in the series, the third one. Very excited because I got to see the first one in theaters and now we're going to see the last one in theaters too. Good morning to literal snow in almost May. Yep. I It was literally 25 degrees here last weekend and now there's snow. So for those of you that don't know, my parents live a decent away outside of Toronto, so it's colder here. So what probably would have just been rain in Toronto is snow here, but I'm getting ready this morning because I have an eye doctor appointment. So probably gonna go end up picking out new sunglasses, prescription sunglasses for those of you that are new here as well. I do wear glasses, not contacts, but just my glasses for distance. So that's what's happening this morning. And yeah, kind of otherwise just a chill day. I was just sitting here thinking that like, since I'm moving, I'm gonna be now actually bringing all of these books with me eventually. For those of you that are also new, I'm a giant bookworm and I feel like a lot of you guys haven't been around since we were in this room, my like parents' house, my room. And literally I just, there's more books like behind here and stuff. I actually got my mom into reading. She just started reading Cinder and she just finished the entire selection series. So I'm getting her like into reading, which is really funny. And then there's like more books in my closet and stuff, like in the closet over there that has another two, two or three full, like long shelves full of books. And I'm just sitting here going like I'm moving, but I have no idea how I'm going to fit all of these books into my condo or where I'm going to put them because I currently own no bookshelves. 
So that'll be a fun task to figure out. I'll also finally be taking all of my records with me because I never took my records and my record player to the place that I'm at right now. Um, I'll be getting rid of that. So if any of you have any like record player recommendations, I'm looking for like a nice high quality one because I actually have like a lot of records. Um, and I don't want to ruin them because I was reading reviews that say that this record player, this the Crosley Urban Outfitters one, actually like warps and ruins records. So that's why I didn't take it and haven't been using it because I'm waiting to get like an actual good record player. So if you have recommendations, let me know. See, this is what happens. There was snow all over the window and my mom put the window down and got snow all in the car and all over me. We just got back from the eye doctors. I have to wear sunglasses right now because I got my pupils dilated and I can't really see much, but it might be snowing, but at least we're gonna have good coffee. So I'm gonna make a little mid-morning latte situation. time time to finally fix these bad boys and get some nails on We are all done. They turned out really, really well. I just went with something simple because I have some things coming up that like they need to be basic for. But mom was also getting her nails done. She's getting her toes done. So I'm just going to grab us some chai lattes and grab some espresso while I'm back home for a little bit. Also because I'm just out of espresso and I always get my espresso here, actually at the place where I used to work. So that's currently what we're going to do. We secured the espresso under the arm because I only have two hands and can hold a camera with one hand, coffees, not technically coffees, chai lattes in the other. And then heading back to give my mom her chai and I'll probably just wander around for a little bit. It's like lightly snowing and I just want it to stop but it's okay. We'll be going somewhere warm very soon and getting out of this cold. <laughs> Good morning you guys. I am obviously home now. My parents obviously gave me the car for the week. I remember ranting to you guys about it back in September. I just don't get the car over the winter. Um, but we are headed to the gym this morning and then we're gonna come home and pack and start getting situated for my trip. I'm so excited, but let's head to the gym. I thought I'd kind of just catch up with you guys for a hot minute because I've been home for a few days now. I just, my mom ended up dropping me back home a few days ago and I haven't really been doing much since, kind of just relaxing, reading, getting back into the flow of work a little bit, but, um, but we're headed to the gym this morning. I'm gonna start packing today, so I thought I'd pick up the vlog again here.
We are home, we are changed from the gym, and literally I had just finished my protein shake and the doorbell rang. I got a fun little delivery to show you guys. So, Village Juicery, which is a local juice, like Toronto juice company, sent me some stuff to try out. I actually have no idea what is in here besides the fact that it is juices. So, let's open this together. Okay, cute. We look like we have some juices. We have some shots, some, like health shots. Well, they're in glass bottles. Okay, love that. Start with some of these little shots. Oh, there's like two bigger ones and two smaller ones. Okay, I have a feeling these are both gut shots. Yes, immunity gut shots. These are perfect. Because I'm going away soon, I probably should have one of these because I do have to test before I go just to make sure I don't catch anything. I feel like COVID has become much more virulent. So we got two little health shots. Preventative defense, like little mini juice. It's got strawberry, orange, lemon, lime, uh, camu camu, nettle. Okay, and another kind of like mid-sized one that is called Life Force. It's a mineral replenishment. So like a little mini green juice. Okay, let's get to the actual juices. Oh, okay, this is interesting. It's like bluish black. This is called Detox Tonic. These bottles are so nice. Like I'm really impressed right now. This one has filtered water, lemon, lime, grapefruit, orange, honey, charcoal. That's why it's black. I kind of figured that. Milk thistle and nettle leaf. Okay, what else do we got in here? We have Be Clean. So another little green juice, kale, celery, uh, Granny Smith apple, parsley, romaine, lettuce, cucumber, dandelion greens, lemon. Love that. And one more. And we have hydrate and heal. Grapefruit, ginger, turmeric, and celery. Cute. I love that. Okay, I'm going to put these in the fridge. That was actually like perfect timing as well because I had like just got home and they got delivered. So I'm going to put these away and then we're going to start packing my suitcase because I need to start getting outfits organized for this trip or it's gonna come to be Saturday before I leave and I'm just not I'm gonna scramble to put outfits together and like pack my suitcase Ta-da! it's always so satisfying to me to have just like the juices and stuff lined up at the top of the fridge I feel like it just looks so nice and aesthetically pleasing and like I love having just a top full shelf okay so here's the situation i feel like i haven't even mentioned where i'm going yet so i'm going to arizona with ali for four days or like technically three days three and a half days because two days are travel days and we're not we're just doing carry-ons so i have my like carry-on carry-on and then i'll have like a purse bag situation as well but i'm gonna have to fit all of like the shoes and purses and everything that i want to style and like shoot while I'm in Arizona in this guy here so we're gonna have to make that work but I feel like everything's gonna be like warmer outfits like dresses shorts I feel like if I just bring one sweater or if I wear the one sweater from Toronto because it's cold here still right now that I'll be good and I'm gonna have to try and figure out fit everything in here I think the biggest issue is going to be shoes one thing I know for sure is I wanna do a lot of like green styling. I feel like I'm very into this green color right now and I have a lot of things in this color that are like cute that I wanna bring. Like I have these shoes as well that are the same color that I haven't styled yet for my Instagram. The only issue is that like my Instagram is very far from this green color right now. We're kind of in like a blue and neutral. So how I'm gonna make that work We'll let that be a later decision and thing to figure out. I just, yeah, I don't, I don't know what else. That, that is my brain right now. I also know I want to bring, I have this really cute little bodysuit that's like a one shoulder situation 
which is neutral and like goes with everything on my Instagram right now. So definitely that. Basically, I have like one, two, three, four outfits that I know I want to shoot for sure. And then I'm going to kind of just throw in some other pieces to mix and match. I don't want to do too many purses. So right now I just have those two. We'll probably throw in one, maybe a mini purse more. Um, definitely going to have to do more reorganizing and like straight figuring out what I want to do but this is kind of what I'm thinking right now but I'm gonna end off today's vlog here I really hope you guys enjoyed this little like kind of prep get ready with me for my trip this is gonna be my first international flight since 2019 which is pretty crazy because when we went to Florida we drove in January and then I just went to Vancouver last year so it was not an international flight so this will be really interesting and I kind of am getting the end of COVID flights so we'll see kind of how it is how crazy I know my parents have done a few international flights and they said that like customs was insane especially coming back into Canada now with like no testing and stuff so we'll see how everything goes, but you guys know I'm going to vlog everything and bring you with me. I'm excited to start doing travel vlogs again. I know you guys w have been asking for me to bring back travel vlogs, and like obviously I haven't really been traveling just because of the whole situation in the world, so I'm excited to kind of get back to that a little bit. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully I will see you all in the next video, and I love you all so much. Bye! Bye!